Sheet Index A sheet index is a centralized and structured collection of sheets in your project. You may link any sheet model from any design file of your project into a sheet index. Now that you are through designing, you will now add the project's sheets to their respective folders. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn Link Sheet Models. Continuing in the cover sheet DGN file, along the ribbon, select the Explorer from the primary group of the Home tab. The Explorer dialog builds upon the foundation of the Project Explorer found in earlier editions of MicroStation. In the MicroStation Connect edition, you can manage the project data using the Explorer dialog. It is a single interface that provides browsing functions for files, links, items, resources, and sheet indexes. On the Explorer dialog, click the Sheet Index tab. A sheet index is a centralized and structured collection of sheets in your project. A sheet index can be useful in creating a construction document set that contains all the sheets of your project. You may link any sheet model from any design file of your project into the sheet index. Sheets may also be organized hierarchically in folders with the ability to override sheet numbering rules for sheets in each folder. You can then manage the properties of all the sheet models within the sheet index collectively. Sheet indexes may also be added to print organizer print sets for printing. Now, by default, the sheet index is read only. In the icon bank of the sheet index panel, click Open Sheet Index for edit. The sheet index can now be edited. Here, we're going to be reviewing the properties for the sheet index folders. Go ahead now and right click on the 03 Details folder. From the contextual menu, select Properties. In the Properties dialog, review the properties. In particular, the sheet number prefix in the sheet numbering controls panel. The value is set for D dash, and therefore any sheet that is added to this folder will have such a prefix. Back in the sheet index, select the 01 dash general folder. Review the properties for this folder as well. Also, take notice of the title block. Here, within the title block, are text fields. Once this sheet is added to the index, these text fields will be automatically updated. In our next step, we're going to add the cover sheet to the sheet index. So, go ahead now and click the Add Sheet icon from the icon bank of the Explorer's Sheet Index panel. Navigate to the 09 Composing Sheets folder. Select the cover sheet DGN file and then click Open. The Add Sheets dialog opens. Now select the cover sheet and then click OK. Like mentioned, the text fields automatically updated to reflect the properties, in particular the prefix G dash. In our next step, we're going to add the site development plan to the sheet index. Here, we'll select the O2 plans folder. Then, we'll click the add sheet icon from the icon bank. From the O9 composing sheets folder, we'll select the site development plan DGN file and then click open. From the add sheet dialog, we'll select the site plan sheet and click OK. And then, we're going to add the site plan details to the sheet index. So here we'll select the O3 details folder and then click the add sheet icon. Next, from the O9 composing sheets folder, we'll select the site plan details DGN file and then click open. In the add sheets dialog, we'll select all three site plan details in sequence 
and then click OK. And now we're going to open and review the site plan details. In the sheet index, we'll expand the 03 details folder. We'll double click the D-01 site plan details 01 sheet model. The sheet model opens. From here, we'll go ahead and zoom in to the lower right corner of the title block. And we'll take notice of the text fields that have been updated to reflect the properties of the sheet index, in particular, the sheet sequence. When finished, take note of the numbers within the sheet index. The number next to the project root folder indicates the total number of sheets for the set. Beside each folder name, the number shown represents the total number of sheets within that respective folder. And within each folder, there are two numbers in brackets next to each sheet. The first number represents the sheet sequence within that folder, and the second number indicates the overall sequence relative to the sheet set. During this lesson, you learn to link sheet models. So, where do you go from here? Be sure to log into the Bentley Learn server at learn.bentley.com. Here, you will find a wealth of learning paths for all of our software products. The next course in the learning path, the MicroStation Connect edition, Basics for Civil Designers, is Printing and Publishing. Covered in this course will be Printing, Printer Configuration Files, Print Settings, Attach a Pen Table, Editing a Printer Configuration File, Print to a PDF, Print Optional Content to a PDF, Explore, Print from the Sheet Index, Printing from the Sheet Index, Print Organizer. So, enroll and immerse yourself in printing and publishing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.